Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I've just posted, delivery optimization um, is a feature that's available for both Windows 10 and 11. Now, I've just posted on how you can turn off delivery optimization um, on Windows 11, and now it's Windows 10's turn to get the same video as the process. Um, although it is a feature that's enabled by default on both operating systems, the process to get to delivery, delivery optimization is slightly different. Uh, to that over on Windows um, 11 as it is on Windows 10. Now, just to do a quick recap, um, it's basically a feature, a Windows update feature that, according to Microsoft, can help you download your updates a lot quicker and easier um, when you are doing Windows updates, and that's by providing updates from sources and peers other than the Microsoft update servers, which could reduce bandwidth um, or the time needed to download and install an update. So um, there are two reasons, as I mentioned previously, you may want to turn off delivery optimization as it is turned on by default. Uh, the first, uh, in, my, in my experience and opinion, is for privacy. And then the second is if you are running a metered connection, a, a limited data plan, or you have a cap on your internet connection. So on Windows 10, you just head to your settings menu to get to delivery optimization. Head over to Update and Security, and here you find it on the left-hand side, in the left-hand menu, Delivery Optimization. And as mentioned, it's turned on by default, and um, it provides you with uh, Windows and Store app updates and other Microsoft products, products quickly and reliably. And um, as Microsoft says, it allows downloads from other PCs, and that's if you have an unreliable internet connection or updating multiple devices, allowing downloads from other PCs as mentioned, can speed up the process. And it says that if you turn this on, your PC may send parts of previously downloaded Windows updates and apps to PCs on your local network or on the internet. And your PC won't upload content to other PCs on the internet when you're on a metered network. Now, um, yeah, you have two options if it is turned on, which it is by default. Uh, you can get um, those updates from um, PCs on your local network or local and over the internet. So you have those two options. Now, um, as mentioned, um, there are may, might, might be one or two reasons you may want to turn it off. And my, my personal reason for turning it off, one of two reasons, is for privacy. As I don't want any data um, being delivered to any PC, be it local or over the internet, uh, without my knowledge. Um, with Microsoft doing that so-called behind the scenes, and uh, um, I'll leave that off for that that off for that main reason. And secondly just dealing with updates over the years. Just on a side note, I found that I have fewer update issues leaving that toggled off. And uh, although Microsoft says it can help with the update process, I have found that to be different. And I have found that on both Windows 10 and 11, leaving that on, actually, I get a lot more issues than with it off. So I just leave it off. And I just found that it gives me fewer issues trying to download and install updates on my devices. So um, that's the first reason for privacy and as a side note for Windows updates. And then if you are running a metered connection and you want to leave that on, another way you can turn it off uh, is just by heading back to your settings uh, uh, in the settings menu on Windows 10. And this time we head to network and internet head over to your properties and you just scroll down to where it says metered connection and if you turn that on um, basically it says if you have a limited data plan and want more control over data usage make this connection a metered network some apps might work differently to reduce data usage when you're connected to this network so what that will do is on a metered connection if you toggle that on um, your OS Windows 10 uh, will disable the delivery optimization automatically in the background if it does detect you're on a metered connection just to save bandwidth and data as mentioned. So that's how you uh, can disable uh, de the deliver delivery optimization on Windows 10 um, using the, uh, the, the option available in Windows Update or toggling on metered connection and then it will just detect if you are running a metered connection and then disable it automatically in the background. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.